ever wondered why the pubs and clubs would still be flooded despite excise duties of up to 25% and 10% for alcohols and cigarettes respectively? But if pizza had ever increased the price of a double crust pizza, consumers would be switching to other options as fast as you could say hopscotch. Is there a difference in the nature of such goods that causes consumers to react so differently to price changes? The answer to this question lies in their price elasticity of demand. Drinking and smoking are addictive. Even if the prices increased, few drinkers and smokers would actually give up such activities altogether. This makes alcohol and cigarettes demand price inelastic, where an increase in the price of alcohol brings about a less than proportionate decrease in the quantity of alcohol consumed. Now, flip it to Pizza Hut. Who wouldn't hesitate to switch to other pizza shops like Domino's or Pelican or cheaper food options, especially in a food paradise like Singapore? Consumers would be more willing to switch as soon as pizza prices surge, unless they're die-hard Pizza Hut fans. This implies that pizza demand is price elastic. But mark my words, if Pizza Hut continues raising their prices, they might not just lose fans, but also their total revenue.